Hi, my name is Desmond, and today I wanted to talk about why it is important to wait until marriage and the importance of marriage in God's eyes. So, as we all know, we live in this thing called hookup culture, and it's called that for a reason because sex is treated like it's no big deal, and it has been treated like that for years. And there's this thing of, well, virginity is nothing but a social construct, and you can have sex with whoever you want to and still respect yourself or still value yourself. And I don't agree with any of that. That I just don't believe that to be true. Um, there's a reason why God wants us to wait until marriage. And there's a reason why there is significance in marriage and why it is so important. In Romans 12, 1-2, it says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. We do not have to do what everybody else is doing. This is not about what the world says is okay. Oh, the world says it's okay. Everybody else is doing it. It's nothing but a physical act. It's not about what they say is okay. It's about what God says is okay. Because our version of good and his version of good are two completely different things. So it's very important to remember that. It's not about, you know, feeling bad or feeling embarrassed or like you're missing out on something. Because I know that people are going to be like, oh, you're, you're in your 20s and you're waiting or you're, you're in your 20s or your late 20s or you're, or you're still a virgin or whatever. And, it's, and it really isn't, it's not a big deal. It's, it's okay to be one. It, it doesn't have to be this thing of I have to have sex to get it over with or, or it's no big deal. I can have sex with anybody I, I think is attractive or I feel like I love in that moment or someone who's just very temporary. Like that's all just a waste of time. Because as the Bible describes it, when you are having sex with someone or you're marrying someone, you're supposed to be coming one flesh with them. You are creating that connection. So in 1 Corinthians 6.18, it says, Flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a person commits are outside the body. But whoever sins sexually sins against their own body. Sex is supposed to be for a husband and a wife because it joins two people together. Genesis 2.24 says, Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife. They shall become one flesh. So when you are getting married to someone, you are also becoming one flesh. And as I said before, the importance of marriage in the Bible, according to God, marriage creates one body dignifying a sexual union of a woman and a man. So it says, What therefore God has joined together, let not one man put asunder. Mark 10, 9. Marriage in the Bible is a covenant of God. As Proverbs 2.17 describes it disappears all human contracts. 1 Corinthians 6.16 6, says, And don't you realize that if a man joins himself to a prostitute, he becomes one body with her? The scripture says the two are united into one. So I know a lot of people are willing to have kids with someone before marriage or have kids with someone and not marry them at all. They'd rather plan to have children with this person they aren't married to. They they plan to act as a woman to act like you're someone's wife and be called wifey or you know to call someone your husband or you want to or as a man you want to call someone your wife and you want her to be a wife to you even though you aren't married and you don't plan on marrying her ever. It's like people want to play this house thing going on you want to play house no disrespect not not to, to disrespect people or to judge people but it's kind of like you want to play house you don't want to get you want to have all the children of people you don't plan on ever getting married because you think married is nothing but a piece of paper but so is money so is our laws written on paper books are on paper certificates and degrees are on paper like so you can't say oh it, marriage is nothing but a piece of paper because a lot of things are on paper and it has a lot of significance it is so important and as i said before the reason why you are waiting until marriage is not only to value yourself and to respect yourself but it's also to value and respect god's word as jesus says in the bible if you love me, you will obey my commandments. And that's what Jesus says. And that is very true. As followers of Christ, we can't just go on doing one sin. Or doing one sin, this sin, you know, fornication, sex, for marriage, saying, oh, this is okay. But everything else is a sin. I'm going to talk about homosexuality as a sin. I'm going to judge this. And I'm going to judge that. But I'm still going to have sex for marriage. And I'm going to, and it's no big deal. Or this thing going around where people, for years people say you gotta 
test people and I hate people say that I hate people say you gotta test drive I hate that term by the way um, it's disgusting to me you gotta test drive people or how do you know if you're sexually compatible with them and, and if you do what God wants you to do the right way God will bless your marriage he'll bless the union and it and you will not have to worry about all of these things that people are telling you is okay when it's not okay or I have people who have asked the question well I'm planning on marrying this person is it okay it's still considered a sin whether you plan on marrying them or not it, it's still a sin either way it's still called fornication so what's the point of planning this future with people planning to have kids with people having kids with people that you don't plan on being with you don't plan on marrying and it's like that term that makes me laugh but it's not to offend anyone but but it, it says like why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free it, it's the same situation we're living in these days it's like people don't respect or value marriage at all they think it's nothing and they think it's no big deal but at the same time we're willing to do all of these things that a married couple would do but you won't actually get married and as i said before marriage is very important to god it is a covenant of god as described in the bible so it is very important marriage is not just something on a piece of paper it is something that god takes seriously and you should take seriously too and as i said before you don't want to just go around sleeping with people just because and if you have already done it it's still not too late to decide to change your mind and wait because if a man or woman decides to not be with you because you don't want to have sex before marriage and that person wasn't worth it in the first place they weren't worth it they're not the right one like leave them alone because it's about doing what god wants us to do and following his perfect will and that is waiting until marriage because marriage is so important to him as i said before and sex is joining is making one flesh you're becoming one flesh with that person you're creating that deep connection with that person as the bible says when you are having sex with them so as i described before i hope you guys got something out of it and just please consider it consider why marriage is such a big deal to god why it is a big deal and why we are supposed to wait until marriage and as i said before if anyone wants to judge you because of that then that person isn't worth it to be in your lives in the first place so thank you for watching this video and God bless you.